It is the beginning of the new era at La Jolla High School. Yeah, the kids there are preparing for a new play called Almost Maine, and that's where we find Brad Perry this morning. Hey, Brad, go ahead and get it hey, over with. What is morning, today? Guys. What is today? Get it over with. Oh, yeah. today? Uh -huh. Today is hump day. Yeah, <laughs> like the student next to <laughs> was freaking and, out. And and it's it's sock day. Look at that. I got I got to make sure everyone lights. On hump day, you wear the cool socks and stuff. Do you, do you have yours on? Yeah. Come here, young man. Come here. Come around here. Uh, the re one reason I'm down here is because of this man right here. But look at this. This is, there we go. We got him on. Father, son right there. Go up there. Back up there. There you go. All right. Uh, well, I'm down here doing, and we know it's signing day for high school sports, but also it's a new era for the La Jolla High School's drama department. But I wanted to get out and promote their drama and their play they're doing. It's called Almost Maine. And Melissa here is letting us know what it's about because they're all dressed up like they belong in Maine, but it's, of course, California. What's the show about? The show is, it does take place in almost a little town in Maine, uh, fictional, and there's nine scenes in it, and they all surround the theme of love and loss. I like it. I like it. I like that. And uh, what's great is that you guys are having shows starting uh, this week, yes. and you're inviting the public to come out. One reason to help you guys support, you guys are looking to get the drama department uh, continuing up, new things you need and stuff, and support mm -hmm. through the community here, which is really nice. So what are the shows? The shows are this Friday and Saturday at 7 o'clock, and then next Tuesday at 2.30 at the Pay What You Can show, also Wednesday and Thursday next week. All right, I want to bring Mr. Trigger. Come on, Mr. Trigger. Come on over here, this young lady over here. As we look at all these faces over here, here goes the new uh, theater teacher here. And this is great. You're so excited about this. Uh, some great alumni have come out of here, plus two with having a Loyola Playhouse right up the street. It's so great. This is such an amazing uh, cultural town, and to have partnerships with the La Jolla Playhouse, the Old Globe, Signet, and to really provide that seamless transition from high school to college to the professional world, we really want to provide first great opportunities for our students. And you know, we have Wicked that's opening up this week, and without you and, of course, theater and high schools, there wouldn't be Wicked. There wouldn't be San Diego, Broadway San Diego, which is so great for kids to start here and move on to the big stage. It's true. We've had a lot of alumni out of La Jolla High and several of the other programs in, in San Diego that have gone on professionally to work on Broadway, SNL, lots of commercials, things like that. And, and additionally, backstage, a lot of professionals who do producing, um, creating their own opportunities. Opportunities. You know, theater really tr teaches creative problem solving, and we want to provide that and support that in our schools. Yeah, so you got to come out and support the community. Has. And I'm going to put another person. Come here, Noel. Come here, this young man right here. Come over here as I get to put him on. Keep the hat on. It's good. Okay. This kid is amazing here. Uh, you do have a tie to uh, La Jolla Playhouse, and what is that? Um, my mom is the costume manager there at La Jolla Playhouse. And, and what did you do last year here on this stage? Well, um, I was really fortunate enough to have a play that I wrote over the summer uh, get produced here. Yeah, and yeah. that was great. And, and actually, people at the La Jolla Playhouse were very proud of mm -hmm. you, right? Yeah, uh, my mom actually uh, helped with costumes. People helped with the set design. It was really just a terrific experience. I like that. That's, a, that's what's so great about this. All right, go have a seat there. Uh, the other reason I'm here, too, is because uh, for four years, I've been coming opening night and stuff. That young man right there, you guys know, uh, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Tanner Perry, my son, is in this show. Uh, very proud to come out and support this. So we want you to come out and support uh, La Jolla and all the drama departments around uh, San Diego, which is going to be fun. We come back, we'll get a couple scenes, we'll talk to the kids about what their future and they're doing, but it's almost Maine, and I like how they all look bundled up and on hump day, so on, on Wednesday, on hump day. So, all right, you guys, toss it back to you in the studio. Brad, when you said hump day and you were standing next to that young lady, she was terrified. Yeah, you scared her. She looked like, who is this person <laughs> and why is he speaking? <laughs> you know what? The kids are terrified of me. Yeah. Uh, I will say they—they they have no idea. And then, it, it, and I don't know if it runs in the family. Are you scared, okay. Tanner? Does he get on? Does he? No, no, just me. He's, he's a very soft, cute little guy. He's not very scary at all. Soft, no. I don't think cute little guy. guy but well, I don't think they want to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> so, wow. Well, it's a meant to be a compliment. So, I understand what she's saying. It's soft, a compliment. It was a compliment. Yeah, it was a good compliment. But a compliment. I can see so that. You know, when you head off to college, guys don't want to hear that. Oh, he's <laughs> right. soft and cute. <laughs> yeah. No. No, that's no, not. You don't yeah, want to look soccer, back in your don't. yearbook and see that written either. No. That's, she meant yeah, it in a you know, very you know sweet way. You know how that's written now. She meant it in a sweet way. Yeah, that's she just, get it. She did. Yep. Oh, here's soft and cute uh, in the yearbook. Oh, stop yeah, it. She was back, being so. nice. She was being nice. All, All right, right, Brad. <laughs> See you later.